Doctor Who, The Ice Warriors. Episodes 2 and 3 exist as audio only. Episode 1, Ionizer Control Room. It's a land of glaciers, crevices and massive icicles. In the high-tech control room, workers in plastic tunics and knee-high boots rush around, turning dials on four curved control panels. Surrounding the circular central computer interface announcer. This is a preliminary warning. Preliminary warning. Prepare phase one base evacuation procedure. Phase one evacuation. Client enters leading on a walking stick. His right hand. Client. Why was Eliza being allowed to detonate to danger level? Garnet. Woman. There was a power stoppage. Stoppage. I've done all I can to boost it. Diant. Well, I can't can't be allowed to flow, fall any lower. Garnet. We still have time to evacuate. Client. We are certainly not to evacuate. We've beaten his champions before. Garnet. It's falling again. Garnet. Well, hold it. You must hold it steady. Garnet. I can't. Client. Client. Switch the stabilizing circuits through to computer control. Gunnet, I have it. It's still not holding. Gunnet, all circuits, woman. All circuits. Gunnet, we're nearly there. Client, there's not enough power. Gunnet, it's slowing down. Client, maybe it'll hold there. Client, I doubt it. Client, well, at least it gives us time. Gunnet, we need scientist penalty. Client, he is no longer a member of this post. You'll make this machine work. Garnet, yes, leader, client. Client, that's better. Garnet, emergency evacuation phasing set. Woman, yes. Garnet, Lionizer state fault check. Woman, too, yes. Garnet, radiator safety sequence in operation. Good. Client, you'll make an organizer first class yet, Miss Garnet. Garnet, I'll only follow your example. Leader Clarence. Clarence sits at the central unit. Clarence, what is it? What is the latest report from all the other ionizer bases? Computer, all bases are in phase. America, glaciators held. Australia's uh, glaciators held. South Africa, glaciers held. Asia, some improvement claimed. Clarence, they would. Computer, Britannia base, Europe, sliding out of phase. Glacier improvement. Advancement and imminent. Client, current. If we fail, the whole program for glacier containment is in danger. Client, I am fully aware of that fact. Client, but in two hours, the ionizer will be useless. Client, and the ice, the glaciers will move again. Five thousand years of history crushed beneath a moving mountain of ice. Announcer. Phase two evacuation emergency. Phase two of Evacuation. Red state emergency. Red state emergency. Client. Priority override. Gunnett. Yes, of course, but Penley was the expert. Gunnett had enough of experts and their crazy ideas. Where's Arden? Gunnett. Still in the ice fair, completing the intermediation project. Gunnett. Well, hadn't he been, hadn't, hadn't he been warned? Gunnett. We couldn't get through. Service communication is possible when. Connect, well, we have to tell him immediately. I can't lose my any more men. Lead a connect to client to add scientist Arden. A glacier face. Come in, Arden. Glacier face. These are men also dressed in plastic suits, but metal helmets and goggles too. Very appropriate for Antarctic conditions. I don't think. Arden. Waters. Drill here. Now clear that trench. Waters. While I prepare the seismographic probe. Well, sir, get your drill ready, ready, Davis, sir. Arden, yes. Waters, come quickly, sir. Waters, run snow off a wall of clear ice. Waters, I would swear there's something inside. Arden, ah, oh, not another mastodon. Waters, well, look for yourself, sir. Arden, it's a man. 
Rollers, perhaps it's an animal. Arden, well, we soon find out. Davis, a heavy drill. Davis, yes, sir. Rollers, wrist comb. Beeps, Waters, base calling, sir. Arden, what do you want? What do they want? Waters, they want, there's nothing coming through. Poor reception, I suppose they, Arden, I have to wait. This is, this is more important. Come on, Davis. Arden, uh, Waters, well, what are, we, what are we going to do, sir? Arden, do excavate. This could be a brilliant discovery, Waters, but sir, the computerized schedule, you must stick to that. Arden, Oh, must we? Waters, the client will be furious, sir. Arden, well, that's just too bad for once. We do something for our own, on our own account, huh? Waters, that's not much. There's not, there's not much base can do about it, sir. Of all, we can't even ask permission, can we? Arden, come on, Davis. Hurry, man. Arden waits away even more. There's no. I know is a control room. Client, Arden, for heaven's sake, man. Come in, this is urgent, but the screen is full of static. He gives up. Got it? Falling again, something is decreasing, but not far from total disintegration. <coughs> Outside the base, snow piles up against the molecular base walls, and millions of dead trees stuck out of it. The TARDIS materializes on the side of a pile of snow and slides down the roof, pointing to the ground. There's screams and squeals of inside. Someone pushes the, out the door. Jenny, up you go, Doctor. You must just got get on my hand. Uh, my hand. Hey there. Jamie, you can. Now, the other one. A Doctor knows he's wearing his fur coat. Jamie, ah. Doctor, what's the matter? Jamie, you're on my head. The Doctor falls back inside. Victoria squeals. The Doctor trembles out again. Jamie, careful. So up you come. There we are. Come on, Victoria. Give me your hand. All oh, three are leaning on the TARDIS doorstep. Victoria has to put a fur-trimmed velvet cape over a tweeded jacket. Doctor, it's, building, it's a blind landing. Jamie, is that what you call it? Victoria, well, no broken bones. Hey, look at the snow. Jamie, no, not, not, not again. Tibet was bad enough, but I think you've got us pulled down. Just further up the, up the mountain. Doctor, well, let's see, shall we? Very careful, I'm going to get to get out. It's quite a long drop. Jamie, come on, up we go. Doctor, come on, Victoria, that's right. Victoria, hey, it looks like the great big wall of ice. The doctor's eyes pop out his head. Jamie, what is it? Doctor, you're on my hand. Victoria, but Doctor, look. Doctor, yes, that's not, it, it, that's not ice, that's plastic. Doctor, yes, Jamie, yes, and see how smooth it is and curved. Doctor, yes, it's a dome, a protective dome. For Jamie, shuts the TARDIS doors. Victoria, it's so big, you can't see the end of it. Wonder what's inside, a door, a dome opens. A scruffy man in furs comes out. A traveller's duck down behind the TARDIS. A second's cuff comes out, carrying boxes. Penley, don't worry, these alarms weren't meant for us. I wonder what's wrong. Uh, no. Story, Scots. I. That's their, that's their problem. Come on. Two men leave and travellers go to the now shut door. A wolf howls nearby. The doctor waves his hand in front of a panel. The door opens on the opposite wall. The picture of a street with colonized sh- shops. They go in and the door closes behind them. Ionizer. Control room, Garnet. Leader, client, the video, Ardent, has made contact. Client, Ardent, can you hear me? Ardent, on monitor, yes. Where is it? Client, you must return to base immediately. Ardent, on monitor, well, don't panic. I'm almost finished getting, setting up the seismographic probes. Davis, hurry up. Ardent, on monitor, oh, I wonder if Penley ears are burning. Client, it's not a laughing matter, man. You know what it means. Oh, the monitor. Yes, cold weather ahead. I thought it was a bit nippy. Client, there be a full according to your delay. You realise that? Oh, the monitor. Yes, we've got a very good reason. A fantastic discovery in the ice. Client, your task is set up moment probes in the ice. Not indulging amateur archaeology. Oh, the monitor. This is a man. Client, oh, congratulations. Makes a change from fossils. Now leave it and return. 
Arden, I'm bringing the body back with me. Client? Arden? Arden, I monitor. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. It seems to be some interference. Client Arden. Corridor, they come. They could easily be in a stately house. A female two-sort statue in an alcove. Ornate ranges itself chairs and side tables. Portraits on the wall. Victoria? Oh, Doctor, it's just like my home. Don't I know? Jemmy, we could, could we be? Announce a rate, state emergency, elevation, phase three, free, phase three, evacuation, transport sector leaders report now, please, phase three, evacuation, doctor, something's wrong, Victoria seems safe enough, a woman walks towards them, doctor, we've discovered, she puts labels on the travellers, doctor, oh, thank you, Jimmy, uh, thank you, excuse me, miss, I'm Jamie Cole McCrimmon, do you think you could tell us where we are? The woman walks away, Doctor. She doesn't want to, she doesn't want to know. Jamie, Dr. Victoria, so this, hey, he says, we're on evacuation flight seven. Dr. Ravi, in the principle, we just arrived. Jamie, hi. Huh? Hi, and this tag, it says I'm a scavenger, and you, you're just two. Here, yeah, we're not beggars. J- Dr. Hey, hush, Jamie. Victoria, what is it, Doctor? The doctor listens at, a, at the door. Doctor, it sounds like electronic machinery. The computer is something wrong with its pitch. Victoria, oh no. Now look, it might be dangerous. Let's leave it. Doctor, no. Victoria, doctor. Doctor, let's go in. I need a control room. Client is, make, is making notes on a pad. Doctor, ah, oh, there's something very wrong here. Client, now is... Something still out of phase? Seven, two point four. Doctor, seven, two point four? That's bad. The doctor follows client around and control desks. Client, you are now balance these gauges, Miss Henry. Seventy degrees out of norm. Doctor, seventy degrees? Yes, this is serious. Client, mass, miss, something. Report to me. Client, level, will you, level, will you, will you? Minus one. Seven degrees, client one three seven nine. Doctor, oh one seven three nine. Excuse me, client. Who the blazes are you? Get the scavengers out of here quick. Doctor, no, we're not scavengers. General shouting as security tried to grab the doctor's coat. Doctor, no. In two minutes and thirty eight seconds, you're going to have to be an almighty explosion. A reading's not say so, client. Well, I'm not, well, how can you possibly know that? I haven't even I haven't even processed them for the computer yet. Doctor, I don't need a computer. Gun it, if he's right. It's already too late to escape. Doctor, no, he isn't. Don't don't doesn't have to happen. If you excuse me, the doctor runs around the control desk, giving instructions. Doctor, cut that out the reactor link for start. Uncouple the transport to former unit. Something the density, phase and power. Gun it. There's a significant power, there's, there's a significant power for that. Doctor, well, we short quick, uh, well, quick short bursts, then for the reactor unit. Now, off. Now link the circuits with this reactor link. Now bring in the computer stabilizer. Yes, that should hold it steady. It's not a perfect my job, mind you. You ought to get, get an expert in, you know. Client, how did you, it was, it was a bluff, wasn't it? The two minutes, 38 seconds to danger. Dada, oh no, it was near enough correct. Give or take a second. Client rubbish. Dada, check it on, it on your previous computer then. Client, Miss Garnett, do it. So, Garnett, read client's notes to central terminal. Garnett, ionizer, full rate. 72.4, iron compensator. Minus one seven degrees on low ion low rate one three seven nine assessment please computer immediately immediate emergency two minutes thirty seven seconds we had to explode dot a well a second out we can't all be perfect got it well at half we're at half power now the leader could connect Got it well then penley could have done a better Done better. Who where on earth did you spring from? It doesn't mind. Now look. Client wobbles and puts his hand to his head. Doctor, what's the matter? Got it. Are you all right? Client, I'm sorry. 
I'm so I'm sorry. No, it's nothing. Just a mercy added a ten. It's just a mercy added to a ten minute hour duty spell. Got it? That's fire vibro chair. Got it? The vibro chair. Claim, yes, you're right. Contact the Medi Control Center and move it. The moment there is a further downward front fluctuation. So we talk, so we can talk at the same time. Come with me. He leaves the room. Doctor, thank you. Now Jamie, something. Jamie asks him where we are. Lace your face. There's a sort of human aid inside the t- ice, towering above the men. Arden, a giant among prehistoric men. Will to see the, the kind of army he's got on? Arden, yes. It's rather strange. It looks like pre-Viking. Not such a civilization. Existed, no such a civilization exists in prehistoric times for the first ice ages. Walters, proper ice warrior. Isn't he, sir? I reckon leader Collant would be impressed. Oh, yes. What's the mighty computer have to say? I, Walters, sir. Have we better get back while the weather still holds? Arden. Good point, Walters. Davis, try bringing the aisles, aisles sled a bit closer, will you? David, David walks out of the storm, watched by story and painfully, shouting another the finger, finger of the shouting in another finger, the glacier face story. What are you up to, Penley? Arden found something in the ice, something to take back. Client, he won't be appreciated. Story. I. They ought to leave their way. To way. Ought to way. Leave way alone. Penny Iodon was always a searcher. He wanted to be an archaeologist when I knew him. Story. Archaeology. What's that? Who's? What's good for? Good's that? Penny. It's good to know the things. See when they're dead. Story. Nothing sacred to you, sir. You is it? Penny, I will only ask questions. It is my character, I suppose. Story, I. You swore you'd like give it all that, all that up. Penny, discovery is exciting to me as it is hunted to you. But we client, we use his scientist's craniums as a stepping stone for his ambitions. Story, I. It's almost a, that's all that you, you lot are fit for. Doorsteps. Penny, well, we're not totally useless, sir, are we? Sorry to me you are. Come on, we got to get to, got to move. Leave him to the, their stupid games. Penny and Story walk out into the storm. They take cover as the Davis is coming back. He looks up as warm as snow falls off the face ice face showing above him. What is Avalanche? Come on. Penny, look out Avalanche. Davis is swept on his feet and down to the crevice in front of the ice of the face. Penny, Story, are you alright? Story. Penley. Penley, what's the damage? Story. My arm is gone, I think. Pen- Story. Broken? Story. Feels like it. Penley. Well, you're lucky. There's one down there who's staying. There's one down there who's staying at the mountain for good. Story. You look- come looking for him. Story. They'll come looking for him. You must move it out a bit. Unless you fancy trying to turn me over to your friends. Pay six weeks ago, they, you, they were your friends, but they're not anymore. Can you talk? Can you walk? Story. Aye. Just try and keep, keep up. Come on, Walters. All right, clear, sir. Arden. Yes. How about that? How about Davis? Walters, I'll go look for him. Him. Arden? Well, let's hope he's safe. With another man gone, client skin be alive. Well, as well, if it gets too difficult, you can always set your warrior on him. Hey, sir. Ready control center. Client is reclining in a chair, on a chair. There's a high tech equipment scattered around and bookshelves line the walls. Client, you are valid. You have no valid proof for your qualifications. Dada, look, isn't it, aren't we wasting time? If you want any help, your help, if you want, if you want our help, why not tell us about it? Client, all about it? All about what? Where have you been all these years? Dada, well, as a matter of fact, we've been on a retreat in Tibet where our survivors 
Right. Oh, I see the bet. Well, you take a simple test. I should, I'll soon know if you are, you're up on your medical star scientific standards. Do, do I see? And if it fell? Don't you be so exaggerated. We have us going to savages in due course. Scream it. Oh, what to? Gunnett, the African Rehabilitation Centers, of course. Victoria, oh no, not Africa. Doctor, very well. Fire away. Client, I would set you a problem. All the major continents have threatened with destruction under glaciers for the second ice of the second ice age. Doctor, yes. Client, how would you halt the ice surge and turn the climate back to normal? 45 seconds, starting from now. Gunnett starts the countdown. To the oh possible causes a reversal magnetic field. Try no such char- change has occurred. Doctor inter- interstellar clouds obstructing the sun, sun rays, excessive bursts of sunspot activity, a sudden shift in the Earth's angle of rotation. Doctor, come on, Victoria, come on, Doctor, Doctor. So there wasn't, there ain't, they ain't the main, there ain't the main alternative. Giant heat loss. Like, uh, I need for, for an uh, ask for a quick answer, not a question. 12 seconds left, Doctor. Ah, uh-huh. ha! Well, if it's cases, it's that, well, in that case, the answer's simple. So if you drop in carbon dioxide level, you have know, lower atmosphere. Is that it? I could use, I would use ionization. A time goes bing. Jimmy? Well, it's, well, he's right. Giant, stand but up. Victoria, oh, but I don't understand. Doctor, well, the carbon dioxide level, the Earth's atmosphere, will help retain the sun's heat, take the gas away, and there's a sudden freeze up. Jerry, oh, where's the gas go, go to? Doctor, well, like, you know how efficient our civilization is. Thanks to the direction of the great world computer. I also know how we conquered the problem of world famine a century ago by artificial foods. Like, Gets himself one of these from the dispenser. Like, oh, no, on land, as once used to grow the food. We needed, we built just up to date living units to house the ever increasing population. Don't know, up to date? Like, well, there were exceptions, of course. I mean, his house was classified as being of historic interest, so the amount of growing plants on the planet were reduced to the absolute minimum. Don't know, no plants, no carbon dioxide. Like, that's sunny. Then suddenly one year, there was well spring. Even then, I wasn't, I wasn't understood. Not until the ice cap began to advance. Jenny, what's that? What's this ionizer? Client, Mr. Garnett? Garnett, ionization is a method of intensifying the sun's heat into the earth. But in the, but in a particular area. Doctor, yeah, it's a magnifying glass, Jamie. Jamie, oh, I, Victoria, you mean you can melt uh, glaciers and change the weather? Client, when certain difficulties are overcome, client, precise control is not easy. Client, we can't afford to make mistakes. Ionization can reduce temperatures intense enough to melt rock. Garrett, only by maintaining a perfect balance can we prevent widespread flooding. Dada, can't you computer solve the problem? Control, client, of course they can. Dr. Well, client, well, the imprint of data is, is complete and they will be, you, give us a solution. Dada, oh, I see. And when will that be? Garnet, well, soon, doctor, soon. Dada, what's the position now? Garnet, well, it's barely holding Glazer in check. Now you see a well, well, there you see a well map so, of the situation at the moment. And there you see what's going on in the oil sector. But if we fail, they're not, then not only will Europe be swallowed up, but the balance of power will be ruined. The whole world program will go under. Dr. Nagasius will win, I see. So I had my sense of consent. Senior scientist, Penny is missing. I think you may have, think you have the capabilities to join us here as it's great, on this great, great mission. Will you help us, doctor? Well, I'm just willing to try, client. Well, good job. Jolly good, jolly good, Miss Garrett. We you give you some background information? Uh, what, you worked with computers, I presume? Garnet, Doctor, well, only when I have to. Garnet, well, Miss Garnet, Miss Garnet is our computer specialist. We will help you. 
stutter. Oh, I tried to remember that. Got it. Here on the completely, here we are, completely computerized. Dada, well, never mind. Got it. Every decision is checked to eliminate, of, eliminate the risk of fact failure. Because, of course, in all decisions and all actions must conform to the good common good. Corridor. Arden is leading the way. The ice in case warrior is being brought along on a gurney. Arden, this way, gentlemen, this way, right now. Now, please, now do be careful around here. Steady there with her. Medi Control Center. Client is on the Vivo chair when Arden brings his prize into the room. Client, is this what you call your full corporation, Arden? How do you set us to carry out this? Jimmy, there's something in it. Client, good heavens, Arden, yes, I thought you'd be impressed. Client, right, chaps, let's have him over here. Cut it up, this way, head this way. Victoria, what is it? Jamie, it looks like a Viking warrior. Look at the helmet, Doctor. Frozen for centuries of ice. Perfectly preserved. Ah, that's odd though. Jerry what? Arden, who are you, client? In addition to our staff. What's our Doctor? Doctor, well, the helmet is wrong. When this man was frozen to death, only Prudenfield cavemen exists. Existed, Arden. Well, I see it's an discovered civilization. Think of the implications, client. Wherever this is the implications... It must still take taken place to our as a project. We have our daily planning conference in three minutes, 30, 15 seconds, exactly. Come along, Arden. Play with your toy after the meeting. Grant, Garnet, and Arden leave. Dr. Jamie. Well, what's supposed to happen, Doctor? Do you see this fellow, Arden? Except the electricity... Except the electricity slice melts very slowly. Allowing for his resistance. Jenny is working quite quickly. Dada, well, it's a pet. There are some impurities in the ice. I say, look at that. Jenny, what is it? Victoria, it's an electrical connection. I'm sure of it. Victoria, it can't be. Dada, now you wait here. Don't touch anything. Dada turns along and leaves. A curtain comes back down, blocking the ice off the, from the, the rest of the room, Jamie. What's got into him all of a sudden? Jamie, I don't know. Scientists are like Eureka and all that. Jamie, I, Jamie, I, he could do a go on, I, he could go, do a go on this, maybe. Jamie leaves, lies on a verbo chair. Behind the curtain, chunks of ice are quickly falling off. A very non-human figure with low fingers on its hands. Jamie, Victoria? Victoria what? Jamie, you see me how these lasses are dressed? Victoria, yes, I did. I trust you to think of something like that. Jane, well, I couldn't help thinking about it. Jane, well, I think it's disgusting wearing that kind of thing. Jamie, oh, I, so do, so it is. So it is. You don't see yourself dressed like that then. Victoria, Jamie, Jane, oh, I'm sorry. It's just an idea. Victoria, we're now, well, we will now change the subject, please. I want to look at this man behind the curtain. Victoria flexes his rubber claw and opens his mouth and moves his head. It's alive.